A U.S. expert says North Korea's aggressive missile testing schedule could see its Busudan missiles enter operational service next year. Our E.G. One explains why there's more to Pyongyang's failed intermediate-range ballistic missile test than meets the eye. Aerospace engineer John Schelling says North Korea's aggressive testing schedule, which appears to include only one successful launch of its Busuran missile among seven attempts this year, could see the missile enter operation service by next year. Writing in a report Monday for the U.S.-based North Korea monitoring website 38 North, Schilling said the regime's failed Busuran launch over the weekend is noteworthy as it could be a sign the North is testing to see if they have really mastered something new. He said this shows that North Korea is not simply repeating old failures, but tweaking variables every time. A Korean expert says there's ample evidence that North Korea's missile development is already very successful. I believe North Korea's ballistic missile technology has improved significantly. They've launched 23 ballistic missiles this year, with most of them failing, because they shortened the range and launched the missiles at a higher angle than normal. North Korea has acquired the technology to allow an intercontinental ballistic missile to re-enter the atmosphere and explode in mid-air, which is 90 percent of a successful launch. Another article on the 38 North website from Monday reported that satellite images taken earlier this month show there have been some signs of continued activity at the North Dongchangni launching station, the site of Saturday's failed missile launch. It said that a shelter used to conduct final preparations on a rocket engine before it's loaded by a crane onto the test stand is instead adjacent to the stand. When not in use, the shelter would normally be positioned further back on the concrete pad. The Korean expert says thousands of engine tests are done before a test launch of a missile, possibly indicating another missile launch is not far away. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.